Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. I know uh, this is another book haul guys I know and I said something in my previous huge 20 plus books book haul and I sort of broke that rule. It is a collective book haul though This is not just from the month of June So I'm really happy though because otherwise I would have felt so ashamed. Otherwise I would have felt so ashamed I would have felt so ashamed I bought 23 books in like four months back then and I was like I'm so not ashamed because at least this wasn't bought all in the same month and this month in like August I have bought 18 books. So I'm gonna section this book haul into three parts. The first part is the biggest one, which are like graphic novels. The second one is contemporaries, and I have six of those. I have seven graphic novels, and I have five fantasy books. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> but before I'm gonna start this really exciting and huge book haul, I wanted to tell you guys something a bit more personal. I just recorded before this video, I recorded a personal get ready with me video where I'm gonna talk a bit more deeply about what is going on in my mind right now. Plus I'm gonna show you guys how I do this makeup, how I do like my daily makeup routine. And I just want to show you guys a little bit more of like a personal side of me because I only talk about books on my channel, but of course I'm so much more than just a book lover. So in that video, I'm gonna talk about my anxiety of going to university, about my top three favorite TV shows of this time, about my YouTube past because it's a really funny story actually and about making and uh, maybe losing friends and stuff like that so I hope you guys want to see that just let me know because that will give me extra encouragement to upload that video so just let me know in the comments or on my bookstagram or snapchat whatever if you guys want to add me on that I also have goodreads like I said a bookstagram personal instagram snapchat and an email address so I will leave all of that in the description down below so you guys can check that out no I'm kind of nervous about uploading it but I feel like it would be a really good thing right now let's start with this gigantic book haul. I won't be giving really broad like amazing synopsis about these books because otherwise this video will be like 30 minutes long. I've never bought any graphic novels except for like this month. I bought seven which is so many. So the first graphic novel that I bought was Attack on Titan by Hajime Ishiyama and I've never read a manga. So this was already a completely different experience because you have to read the book backwards from like our normal books and you have to read it from like right to left and stuff like that. So that was already really different. Attack on Titan is a super popular anime show and ever since I started watching Death Note I've heard amazing things about Attack on Titan but I just never had a platform to watch it on until now because one of my Goodread, um, one of my Goodreads friends told me where I could watch it on. So thank you so much for telling me that. I've already read this one and it was a really fun experience and I gave it a four out of five stars. So if you are really interested in reading manga, I would definitely recommend this one. The story is like really gruesome and really amazing. It's about like these giant titans, what they call like these giant giants who attack cities and eat people. That's what you need to know. It sounds really interesting. I know, just pick it up for yourself. The next one I bought is Lumber James, volume number one, Beware the Kitten Holy by Stevenson, Ellis, Waters, and Allen. Those are their surnames, but I guess a ton of people know Noelle Stevenson. And I really, really enjoy this graphic novel. It is super short, but the art style is just so pretty. This is about a group of girls who are friends and they go to like the summer camp and mysterious magical things start happening and definitely recommend this one if you want to start out with uh, graphic novels. This one is really awesome. After those two I bought those in a bookstore. I just was so obsessed with the idea of getting more graphic novels. So the first one is kind of a mistake and that is Orange Volume Number 1 by Ishigo Takano and I thought that this was the English version because it was like only eight euros and I needed to read this one. This is about like a girl who receives a letter from her 10 year older future self and at first she thinks it's like a prank but then events start happening which are described in the letter and it's very mysterious. I haven't read it yet but that is because this version is actually German and as you guys might know I'm Dutch. I've only had two years of German so I cannot understand this so I'm really like sad because I really wanted to read another manga and especially this one because the story sounds so interesting. I'm gonna try and read it. Like I might surprise myself at how much German I still know. After reading Lumber James I absolutely needed to get another of Noelle Stevens. Shut up. <laughs> 
Okay, I just absolutely needed to have another one of Noelle Stevenson's stories, so I got Nimona by her, and I've already read this. This was such a fun, good story. It's not like a five out of five star story for me, but definitely a four. I just really love this. This is about Nimona and she becomes like the sidekick of this guy called uh, Blackheart and Blackheart is like a villain but Nimona herself is actually more villainous than Blackheart. The next one is a graphic novel that I've been interested in for a very long time as well. I've heard amazing things about this on booktube and it's a really really big one. It's hardcover and I found it for a really good deal and that one is The Sculptor or Sculptor? No, it's The Sculptor by Scott McCloud. This is a gigantic graphic novel and it's so pretty on the outside and um, on the inside as well. And this is a story about a guy who makes a deal with death that he just really wants to sculpt anything. Like anything is going to be possible for him to sculpt but in exchange for that he will die in a certain amount of days and you follow his story from that point on I believe. So this sounds so interesting and I cannot wait to read this. The graphic novels are super easy to like get through and why are there motorcycles everywhere right now? But Neil Gaiman blurbed it and he said the best graphic novel I've read in years so I'm gonna trust him on that. My second to last graphic novel is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness and this is like a graphic novel because there's like it's more that there's like an actual story just a regular written story in this with just a ton of illustrations so I guess this sort of like falls into like the graphic novel side of this book haul but also it doesn't. I don't know what this story is really about. I don't want to know. I only know that the people who have read it loved it with all of their hearts and that they cried their eyes out like they bawled their eyes out so I hope that that will happen with me as well because I don't cry with books that often but if I do it means that it's a really good book and then the last graphic novel is yeah it's like a graphic novel but it's more like a non-serious graphic novel it's called adulthood is a myth a Sarah Scribbles collection by Sarah Anderson and Sarah Anderson is very like I believe popular on Instagram don't quote me on that with like Sarah Scribbles and she makes these really funny just like I don't know cartoonish things every single page has like a different story like a relatable situation and it's just so much fun I'm gonna read the back to you and if you like the back definitely pick this one up are you a special snowflake do you enjoy networking to advance your career is adulthood an exciting new challenge for which you feel fully prepared Oh, please go away. Those were like the graphic novels that I bought this month. So right now let's go on to contemporary. So the first one, first two that I have to show you guys are so popular at the moment. I'm just gonna quickly tell you guys what they are. So the first one is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. So I already own Made You Up by her. I bought that one like a year, a year and a half ago. And you've probably heard so many people talk about this. I'm just really curious to see if the hype is worth it. And then the other one is When Dimple Met Reishi by Sandea Manon. I hope that I'm pronouncing her name correctly. This one has been talked about ever since, I don't know, March when people started receiving ARCs. I've heard really good things about this one, but lately I've been hearing a couple of people say that this was not their cup of tea and they have given it like a one or two star rating. Kind of nervous about this right now, but I've heard so many people talk like, praise this book so I feel like it should be my cup of tea. Then I just bought this book on a whim because I think I saw this on Medium B's from a heart full of books uh, channel. They just picked this book up and they really enjoyed it and it is called Phantom Limbs by Paula Garner and oh my god this cover is everything that I want. It's like so clean looking but it has blue in it and as you guys can tell kind of from my room Blue is my favorite color. I don't know what this is about and I believe Maddie and B really enjoyed it and when they enjoy a book it means most of the times that it is a really good book. The next one has kind of like a similar cover and I'm just realizing that and that is First and Then by Emma Mills. Again it's white. It has like these raindrops or maybe they are tears in like different colors. It's looking clean. You have like a rainbow on it which is really pretty and I know that Emma Mills is like a YouTuber and I really don't like YouTuber books but I know that Emma Mills is like an actual like writer and she has written two books besides this one but this was her debut novel. It's really short, it's a contemporary and I have been really interested in this one plus look at it under the dust jacket. It is crazy pretty. Ah, I love it so much. The next one is so 
popular. I don't know why I still haven't read it yet. I've heard a ton of people love this one, but I've also heard quite a couple of people that they didn't love this one, and that is Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe, and this is, I believe, a gay romance book. I'm pretty sure, but you know, I, I haven't read the synopsis that well, so I could be wrong, but I'm pretty damn sure that I'm right. I mean, it has won four prizes alone, so this must be a good book, right? And I feel like I just need to read this one. A book that I just picked up on a whim, like I've heard people talk about this, it's popular, but it's not that popular, and it is The Serpent King by Jeff Zentner, Zentner, I think, okay. I've heard that the people who have read this thought that this was the best contemporary that they've ever read, that it's so, so good. No, I've seen it on booktube, but I just haven't really heard people who have actually read the book, like they own it, but they haven't read it. I know that this is like not a super duper fluffy contemporary, it's more like a serious one. I've just also heard amazing things about Jeff Zendner's other book, which is called Goodbye Days. I just really want to read one of his books, and this was, I think, his debut novel. Those were the six contemporary books, and now let's get on with my five fantasy books, because I love fantasy. And the first one is a book that I feel like I should have owned, like, half a year ago already, and it is J.K. Rowling's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the original screenplay. I mean, it's just a gorgeous book. Everyone has bought this one already, and uh, it just looks so good. It's like so aesthetically pleasing, and I loved the movie, so I feel like it would be really nice to read this screenplay and just sort of like relive the movie again. The next one is also a super hyped book at the moment, so I'm gonna quickly show it to you guys, and it is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie I love the cover of this book so much. I usually hate people on the cover, but I really like this guy, and I love the bright blue spine, so this is my type of book. It's like an adventurous story that takes place in, I believe, the 1800s about a guy who is bisexual, and he's actually in love with, like, his best friend, and they go on this adventure, and, like, they, they're traveling Europe, and this just seems like a really awesome read, and I want to know if it's worth the hype, just like with Eliza and her monsters and when Dimple met Rishi. I feel like these three books are the most hyped books at this moment. Next, I have the book that came in my July. I wanted to see Owl Crate. I don't have an Owl Crate subscription. In my July fairy loot box, so if you haven't seen my unboxing yet, uh, I will leave a link in the description down below so you can check it out. But the book was Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie. This is like a circus book with a girl who can create illusions and all of a sudden her illusions start to get killed off and her illusions are actually kind of real I believe and it's like a mysterious story, fantasy, and I've heard great things about this one actually. Um, so I'm really curious to see what I'm gonna think of it. Finally, I have a Brandon Sanderson book in my book hauls and this one is Steel Hard by him. I know the Mistborn trilogy is so popular but I just want to read his YA trilogy first. So this is the Steelheart trilogy and I've been super interested in this for a really long time and this UK paperback is just really pretty. I don't know what the story is about. I don't need to know. I just want to go into it without any expectations. I have to show you guys my last book. Finally, I know I'm kind of out of breath too, but the last book that I have to show you guys I bought at the American Book Center in The Hague where I met it is from The Sheep and the Wolf, which was so awesome. It was really spontaneous. I knew that she worked at the American Book Center, but I didn't know that it was in The Hague. I thought that she uh, worked at the one in Amsterdam. And all of a sudden I saw her face, I saw her working there and we talked and she was lovely. So please go check out her channel if you guys haven't yet. She makes amazing videos. So the book that I bought there is The Black Prism by Brent Weeks. And this book is gigantic. It is 740 pages and if you guys watch other booktube videos, which you probably do, and you watch Peru's Project, you know that she has been raving about this series. I don't know, it's the Lightbringer series, I think? Book number one. This is about like a world where people can control colors, and I believe that the more colors they can control, the more powerful they are, but also the less long that they are gonna live. 
I'm not too sure about it. That's what I think it is. It has, I believe, a really good rating on Goodreads. And I'm really curious to see why um, Reagan from Peru's Project loves this series so much. It is a big one, so I probably won't read it until like three years from now, but we shall see when. <laughs> Those were the 18 books that I bought in the past month. I know it's a lot. Right now, I'm definitely going to have to save some money for me being like a student and buying my own groceries and stuff like that. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!